Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use multiple JSX files in your script, which will allow you to do things like import other people's work into your script to use, or you can organize things out into different files like we have here for better project management. So today we're going to be making a script that uses two other scripts, this one that creates a solid layer and this one that adds a tint to a layer, to basically create a layer, add a tint to it, and open it in the viewer. So before we write the main script that's going to include these and then execute them, we need to look at the two other scripts. So first we have generate solid layer, which is just going to have a function in it called generate solid layer. Whenever you have a function like this in a different file, when we include it, it's going to be able to call this function. So in the other text file, I can simply call generate solid layer if I've included this and it will run the function normally as long as we give it the right argument. So this function is basically going to require composition and then it's going to create a solid layer, a white solid layer called special solid, the size of the comp and return that. And then we have the random RGB tint JSX file with a tint layer function. All of these will be in the description um, in the GitHub link. But basically what this is gonna do is require a layer input. It's going to then apply an Adobe tint effect. And then for the map white to, it's going to randomize it between zero and one, basically giving it a random color. So I'm going to open up a new JavaScript file and go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just write a couple lines of code just to get things started. So I'm just gonna create my main function and define it. That way I have some text and now I need to make sure I save this. So another thing you wanna make sure is that the files you're going to be using are in a pretty easy to reach location. You can go in and make them in different folder structures, but you'll have to program that. But the easiest way is just to have them in the same base root folder. So you can see I have my random RGB tint and solid layer gen JSX in here. I'm just gonna call this a tutorial and it's gonna be in the same folder. So now whenever we basically import or include them, it's gonna look for them in the same root folder as this script. And of course you wanna make sure you save your script, otherwise it won't know where to look. So what we need to do to include it, is simply say hashtag, and you'll see it will turn yellow. And then we want to type in the name of the script. So the first one is called solid layer gen dot jsx and then for the other one do the same thing and it's called random rgb tint dot jsx so how do we know that these are working well let's go ahead and take our solid layer gen jsx and we're going to first run this bit of code so we're going to generate a solid layer which we'll put inside of the main function here um, and then i'm going to also say app dot project and there's an argument in our main function just say project just so we can save some space here and because uh, our solid layer gen requires a composition we need to either have them have one selected or create one if they haven't selected one so what i'm going to actually do is just get rid of this and i'm going to say var comp is equal to our app dot project or i guess we can just say project since we brought in that dot active item this is if they have something selected so anytime they have an active item selected, like if you select here or you select up here, is going to be whatever the active item is. We want to check if this active item is a comp type item. In order to do this, we're going to say two things. We're going to say if comp is equal to null, or if comp is an instance of a comp item, but we're actually going to invert this logic and say if it's not. So if the comp uh, selected is not active, or if it's null, or if it's not a comp item, well, what we want to do is create a composition. So then we'll say our comp is, if it's null, basically going to equal our project.items.addComp. And I'm just going to paste the settings from the previous script, call it test comp 1080p with those settings. And then if it does exist and it is active and it is a comp item, then um, we don't really need to do anything. So we can actually get rid of that else statement. And after this, we're gonna to wanna to open up the comp in the viewer, so that way we can see everything inside of it, whether it's been created or is already active. So yeah, actually in that case, we should put it inside the if statement, just to save a bit of uh, space, and it won't need to run if it's already open. And then lastly, again, to get our generate solid layer, we need to give it a comp. So now we can go ahead and run it, because now that we have a comp. So inside of main, I'm going to say alert, generate solid layer, and I'm gonna give it my comp. So let's go ahead and run it. So before we run this, I actually made a silly mistake and forgot to write the letters include. We need to tell it to include these by using the keyword include, space, and then the name of the script. Um, 
that way it knows this is supposed to include this sort of code inside of here. So now if we go ahead and run this, we're gonna get an error, we need a parentheses, and now we're gonna get an alert saying we have an, a layer being returned. Let's get the name of that layer. You can see it's generating our white solid here and the test comp as well, which is great. But now you can see it's called special solid. So we're properly running this function here, creating our special solid layer and returning it through this other file. Now that we've done that, we have our white solid. Let's use the random RGB tint, tint layer function in order to randomize the color of it rather than just being white. So what we're gonna do is create a variable called layer. This is gonna be equal to what we just did. So we'll say var layer is equal to that. And we don't need the name, we just want the actual layer. And then we're going to go ahead and use our tint layer function. And it's not going to be returning anything, so we just need to give it our layer. And our layer is called layer, so simple enough. So now if we go ahead and delete this and run it again, you can see we get a green one. If we run it again, we get a pink one and it will continue and continue to randomize as long as we click it. And the final thing you can do to close this off is use an app.begin undo group. So we can quickly undo all of this without having to undo each step. Although there aren't very many steps in this uh, script, it's still helpful to use a begin undo group in this case. So just have a begin undo group before the main function is ran, then afterward an app.end undo group. That way when we run it, if we want to undo it, we can just click on Control Z and everything is undone completely. But yeah, that's going to do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly. And of course, check out the description for the code and the files for this down below, as well as a link to Instagram where you should follow me so that you can get behind the scenes and updates on tutorials. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.